here is our problem, oh, I believe. <laughs> And of course, we have another, I think our 17th M18 fuel Milwaukee Sawzall. M12 is just way too underpowered. Way too underpowered, boys. Alrighty, boys. This is our impeller water pump for our boat over here. We're working in the front yard. We have zero space, so gotta make do with what you have because the best opportunities that you create and the ones that are there in the world are the ones that you make for yourself. We are up on the boat. This is your impeller pump right here. Move the manifold over so you can get access to your cover bolts like we did on that side. Of course, boys, you gotta make sure you follow on the TikTok. It's not really of that much importance, but I just appreciate it. Since my account has been banned four times and I've gained close to two million followers, but nobody really cares about that. Of course I don't either. I just like making videos about what I enjoy doing. Yo, is this a slug? The hell? Is a slug in here? So we're going to go with a 10 millimeter here to take our valve, co <coughs> valve covers off. Now it's going to look pretty gross in here I'm assuming. She's already got these manifolds loose or else you would not be able to get to this 10 mil right here if you didn't take your manifold off for your wet exhaust dude get off there you go uh-huh just as we suspected look at that cool substance right there but not what we want inside our engine now this gasket supposedly reusable looks good to me uh, these all look Sort of fine. Now we're gonna take our pry bar and get in here between the manifold and the couver. Pry it off. Yep, Sledge City. Our exhausts so that we don't get any dust inside when we start sanding, even though it probably won't matter too much. So yes, my friends, we are about to do the final piece of the puzzle here on our amazing Chevy 350 ski boat, 21 foot Malibu cruiser. We've already done a lot of stuff, so bear with me here. As you boys just saw, we put our water pump and new impeller in up front there. We got the belt back on. We did our valve covers, valve cover gaskets. We did our exhaust manifolds and riser gaskets. We did our thermostat and thermostat gaskets. Now we're about to do our intake manifold as the final piece of the puzzle. Probably should have started there, but now we know for next time. That's why experience costs so much money because you can't really supplement time or knowledge. But 
If you think you can do something. You are going to have to take off the carburetor to do this job, unfortunately, which is this guy right here. So we're gonna pull him off. We already got our one, two, three, four, 12 millimeters out. So this thing is just loosey goosey up here. Um, we're gonna, we disconnected our fuel line. We're gonna disconnect this one. And I think I can leave the throttle body and everything attached if I disconnect the spring. All right, we got our surfaces all cleaned here on our small block Chevy. Our kit comes with a little uh, gasket for in between here, but we're gonna use some Mega gasket that I stepped on. Awesome. 